Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanks for watching Boomshine TV. Sorry I've been MIA the last uh, couple weeks. I haven't really had a chance to record or post much new video. Um, I've been traveling a lot for work and then I was in uh, Lake Tahoe all of last weekend from Friday through Monday for uh, my sister-in-law's wedding. Um, and then we got snowed in pretty much on Monday morning. So I spent uh, pretty much the entire day Monday playing musical planes and musical airports trying to get my wife and my uh, two-year-old daughter home safely. Anyway, such is life, right? So I wanted to just make a quick video. This is going to be real fast today and just let you know what I have going in the works. Um, right here in front of me, I have some uh, mags from Palmetto State Armory. They had these on sale for $6.99 a pop. These are uh, standard aluminum uh, GI mags. <clears throat> um, I just wanted to give you a quick, you know, first impression view. I ordered five of them. They were only $6.99 a pop, so I figured uh, it couldn't hurt to... Uh, just kind of show you what I got and what I've noticed so far. Have not had the chance to uh, test fire any of these yet. Um, a little bit about the mags. Um, these are made by uh, DNH, which is uh, now well, it used to be Labelle, but now it's DNH, same company. Um, these look like they were manufactured in uh, December, December of 15. I believe that's the date code. Um, and they are. Uh, 04 TQ4, so that's the uh, the mil spec code for these magazines. Um, the only thing different about them, rather than being stamped DNH, uh, PSA has their uh, base plates here on the bottom. So that will focus. There we go. So Columbia, South Carolina, Palmetto State Armory. Um, really, really nice looking mags. Um, but for $6.99 each, I kind of had to wonder if these were, you know, factory seconds or, you know, something that was wrong with them. So I did a real close comparison, and I noticed one thing that may have made these so cheap. I don't know for sure, um, but let me see if I can find the ones that I've, uh, two of them, two out of the five are completely flawless, and they're perfect. And what I'm looking at right now are the uh, resistance weld marks, the spot weld marks on these things. Yeah, these two, these two mags right here are fine. And these three here, the only thing that I could find that looked different or off is if you can see the, uh, the second from the bottom resistance weld. These look like they weren't quite completely welded. You can see the spots, the spot weld marks are just a little bit smaller than the rest of them. And then on the back side here, they're fine. So it's just that one little weld mark right there that I think probably made them not completely pass QC over at uh, DNH. So they may have been sold super cheap to uh, Palmetto State and rebranded and sold. I don't know that for sure. I don't think that this has really any bearing on the overall longevity of the magazine. You've got, what, six weld marks on the front and the back. And it's not like it's not welded. I mean, it's still tacked. It's just not a complete weld. So at least it doesn't appear to be a complete weld. But other than that, these things are in outstanding shape. They arrived in, in really good condition. Um, I'm going to run a few, you know, a couple hundred rounds through all these and see if they're uh, reliable. I have no reason to believe that they're not. Um, completely standard mill spec. I've got this one already started because I don't have a screwdriver on me at the moment. But you just slide the base plate off and take out your magazine spring. Your standard, regular GI magazine spring. And these came with the uh, kind of the foliage green colored uh, Magpul mil spec follower. So you can see, if I can get that on the camera, I don't know if it'll focus or not. Oh, come on. You can see it's the Magpul, Magpul brand follower. So anyway, Magpul followers, standard mil spec aluminum, anodized mags. Decent resistant welds on all of them, except for these three that just have the, the smaller spot there at the, uh, the second from the bottom weld. So I'm not sure what that's about or if that even has any bearing on these at all. It's just an observation that I'm making. The mags feel really solid. I mean, they feel, I mean, the welds are fine. So I, I prefer to use P-mags for all of my, you know, serious needs. So I probably won't even really be using these for anything other than range. But, uh, you know... I'm sure they'll work fine. If not, I'll obviously post back. So I'll let you know. But that's an observation and just a, a very small one so far. Anyway, let me get this thrown back together real quick. Doo -doo.
Alright, alright. But anyway, yeah, standard Magpul anti-tilt followers. They slide freely. Teflon coated in and out with the black anodizing. So, they really appear to be good to go. And as far as the standard regular aluminum GI mags go, these look great. They really do. I mean, aside from that one little difference in the spot weld at the bottom, I really don't think there's anything wrong with these. So, really high hopes for these. They were super cheap. I got them all after shipping and everything was calculated. I think I paid like eight dollars and fifteen cents for them. Six ninety nine per mag plus, you know, I think it was like ten or twelve bucks to UPS them to my house, and I had them within like two days. Anyway, but then <clears throat> now that those are out of the way, I also wanted to show you this. You guys have all seen the videos. Well, hopefully most of you at this point have seen the videos on YouTube of various people who have created magazine loading, curved magazine loading devices, either made out of wood or metal or what have you. Um, Maglula, the company, has released an aluminum version of that type of loader that it costs like 150 bucks. Ugh. So I was looking for cheaper alternatives and I found a company called Plate Design. And for $59, this is what they sent me. Um, this is made out of, I believe, Delrin or something similar. I'll have to confirm with them. This is, I haven't even opened it yet. It's still in the, uh, it's still in the package. But you basically line up your uh, rounds in here, place your magazine at the end, and just use your finger and you just shove them all right into the magazine. And the nice thing about this is that it's captured by the actual casing. It's not captured by the bullet. So you can load blank rounds with these. And this will also this will accommodate both you know, 5.56 and 300 blackout. So you don't have to get a different loader for that. It'll load both types of cartridges. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this with the plastic on. Probably not. But it's actually notched on either end here. So that the shells fit underneath this lip on both sides and are captured. So there's no risk of the shells exploding out of here when you're trying to load the mag. Now, I haven't used this thing yet. I'm just showing you guys to let you know what's in the works. Um, but these guys are extraordinarily supportive of the YouTube crowd extraordinarily supportive of guys like me who want to get out there and, and check out new products. So I have a, a sneaking suspicion that I'm going to be working with Chris and the rest of the guys over at Plate Design quite a bit over the summer because they have told me that they have a lot of really neat new products in the works. They haven't told me what yet. It's all very, very secretive and under wraps for good reason because they want to maintain their, their business. You know, they need to keep things kind of under wraps until they're released. But he's promised me that he will give me the heads up on most of the new products that they're going to be coming out with. So, depending on what weapons I have access to coming up over the summer will depend on what products of theirs I can actually show you. So, I'm working with them. I've already sent them a list of some of the guns that I have, and uh, they're going to get back to me with a list of products that will be compatible with the stuff that I have, and kind of we'll go from there. So, anyway, great, great things from Plate Design. Um, so, 59 bucks plus shipping, and, you know, maybe in the future I can talk about possibly getting a discount code or something from them. Um, we haven't broached that subject yet. It's still really early in the process, but if this thing works out and it meets all my expectations, I will definitely readdress that with them and see if we can't sell some more of these things for them. This is a great, great option if you don't want to pay 150 bucks for the Maglula version, or if you're just not, you don't have it, like in my case, I don't have the time to make one myself. I mean, I can make one out of wood for free, um, but it's not going to end up being as precise or as nice as this is. So I was perfectly willing to pay the 59 bucks and uh, just have them ship me one. So anyway... That's what I'm up against right now. I'm going to be testing this and testing these, and I'll let you guys know. So anyway, thanks for watching Boomshine TV, everybody. As always, like the video, subscribe, let me know what you want to see, let me know what I can do to make this more interesting for you. Um, I'll try to get some shooting done over this weekend, and I will hopefully post back next week with some results. Anyway, thanks for watching Boomshine TV, everybody. Have a safe weekend, and we'll see you later. Take care.